titting, titting, titting. I guess I probably only should have said it twice. And hey, welcome to the beer garden in the Dale Fon Grand Fig and the Fireless Pit. And if you're here because you like beer, let's be honest, why else would you be here? I'm not that good looking. Uh, please tap that subscribe button down below because approval from strangers on the internet makes me feel better about myself. And even more important, please tell me your town and state or town and country where you are viewing from. I really love seeing where my viewers are from all over the world. As a matter of fact, I made a, a note here on the back of my sold out a Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review coaster set. Rapid City, South Dakota, checking out the channel. Sarsfield, Ontario, Canada. Coos Bay, Oregon, and Plains City, Ohio. Oh, thank you from all over the world. Let me know what town and state or town and country you are viewing from. Uh, of course, uh, give everybody a ring for that. We're gonna be drinking out of the green label of Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review Sold Out Pint Glass. And we are reviewing by overwhelming requests and you people like to screw me. So, yeah, over a few years of doing this, over uh, over 1.2 million views of this channel. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest Fest Beer. Uh, check out some of my other reviews for Sierra Nevada. I'm not really a West Coast guy when it comes to beer. However, this is another one of Sierra Nevada's collaboration beers. Uh, they collabed with Brauei Gutmann from Titting, Germany. Titting, Germany. Yes, that's why I was saying that before. I was making sure I was getting it right. Um, I'm not big on collab beers. I mean, if you're doing something really good, uh, why mix it with something else? You know, I, un I understand the respect and I like the respect. Uh, I've never had a beer from Gutmann uh, Brauei in Titting. Uh, but apparently they are really big into wheat beers. They got a, a good line of wheat beers. I don't know. Uh, alarms started going off. Chico, California and uh, Mills River, North Carolina is where this is brewed. I saw something about it being a balanced beer. And if you watched my brew reviews for uh, Oktoberfest beers or fest beers, I don't like them to be balanced. No, I want it to lean malt. Give it a pour, shall we? Pour. Uh, this is a, a, a lager. This is a fest beer, not sold at Oktoberfest. Of course, this is uh, it's not allowed because it's not brewed in Munich. Only the big six are allowed at the actual Oktoberfest. This is an American knockoff, which is sort of ironic because we have this not real Oktoberfest beer, not authentic. Yet I'm wearing my authentic German Jägerhut and my uh, authentic German beer drinking shirt. So there you go. Only to be contrasted by the American knockoff. But it is a collaboration. So yeah, we've sort of got a collabo thing going here. Take a look at it, shall we? 94% ah, water. It's got that sort of fest beer color to it. Not bad. Where did the head go? I don't know totally gone. The soapy thin head has totally evaporated or dissipated. Time for the nose, shall we? Uh, not a German beer nose at all. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness in there. I'm getting a little bit of almost a, a lemon. Uh, no hops nor what I expected from an Oktoberfest or a fest style beer. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I really don't smell much anything. All right, okay, let me know what beer you're drinking while you're watching this video. I also love to, and I find it humorous that uh, you, you may not even be drinking this beer, but you're watching this video about this beer because you may be thinking of buying this beer. So I'm gonna be rating this beer. How good an Oktoberfest, fest beer, fall beer out of five stars is it? Uh, coming up at the end of this video. It's not, uh, not cheap. Six pack, on sale, 10.99. Uh, you know me, I'm cheap when it comes to beer. I don't like to spend my money. It's gotta be an exceptional beer for me to spend 10.99 for a six pack. So here we go. Uh, nothing more for the nose. Uh, Time for the liquid to hit the lips. Post. Good. 
It's got a weird, weird aftertaste to it. Uh, hold up the can. Ugh. Uh, that ain't no Meritzen. Well, it's, it's straight up with a can of lager, doesn't it? So, <coughs> collab edition. Uh, the 6% is uh, hidden in there. You don't get a, uh, I mean, it's not overwhelming alcohol, it's only 6%. Uh, I consider that bordering on a light beer. Uh, but uh, it's not over alcoholy at all. It has flavor to it. Uh, it does not taste like a cheap beer, but it does not taste like an Oktoberfest fest beer. It does not. Uh, they were true in advertising that it is a balanced beer. Uh, not terribly sweet. With an Oktoberfest beer or a fest beer, I want it to be sweet. More, more hops than I thought it was going to be. I think I read somewhere that it was about a 30 IBU if you're new to beer drinking. IBU stands for International Bittering Unit, and uh, the higher that number is, the more bitter a beer is. So if you, like some of the IPAs are up above 50, uh, you want your Meritzen styles, or at least I do, or uh, uh, lagers to be a lot lower than that, 20s, teens, uh, something like that. Um, again, not a bad tasting beer, it's just not what it says it is. And uh, if I'm spending $10.99 a six pack, it better be an Oktoberfest beer. So, uh, out of five stars, it's not a bad tasting beer, but if you're buying this uh, to uh, celebrate Oktoberfest, uh, you're gonna be sadly disappointed. Yeah. Darn it. An American knockoff it is. Uh, it, it, it would be a good fall beer. Uh, again, I have to put this in that category again of another good fall beer. It would be nice to drink this uh, when it's flannel season. Uh, so, with that being said is a term I hate because it's very cliche, but I did use it. So, out of five stars, Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest Fest beer collaborated with Gutmann Brauerei from Deutschland. Uh, I gotta put you about a 2.24 out of five stars. There you go. Hey, uh, town and state, town and country where you are viewing from. I love to see where my uh, viewers are watching from. And uh, let me know what you think of Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest Fest beer uh, and collaboration beers. Hmm. Let me hear from you. I'd love to hear from you. Please check out more of my over 220 brew reviews to date over 1.2 million views so far, all thanks to you guys, so I really appreciate it. Again, town and state, town and country, where you are viewing from. And right after this video, check out some more of my other brew reviews. I appreciate your view, sub, and support. Cheers. Post.